Science 1324. Hello YouTubers, this is Science1324 here, and since I've been gone and I haven't made very many videos, um, since I've gotten back I've looked at all my comments and everybody wants to know how to make the arc reactor. So it's actually fairly simple and I will show you how to make it and I'll show you all the parts and everything that you need. Should be able to do it, it's not super hard so. But yep. Alrighty, so the parts you're going to need are some tape, a paper clip, only probably not one, you want one that's silver, not one like this. I already have another one, but I already bent it, so. But yes, a paper clip. And then you can just get some magnet wire like this. That's all this is. But what you'll want to do is you'll want to take a lighter and burn all of the enamel off, because magnet wire has enamel on it. So you want to burn the enamel off so it'll work better for this. And then you'll need a computer fan of any kind. This one's just a little one I had lying around. And here's the other paper clip I was saying. Um, I've already got a bent, so with that paper clip, or is it? Well, the other one. Um, you just want to bend it into a shape kind of like this. So this is the top part where this coming out of the neon sign transformer here will hook in. It'll just be right above this. And then you take this wire and you just stick it around the edge like that. Now what we're going to need is we're going to need something that's going to make this spin because we don't want it just like full power all of a sudden. And so what I've got for that is a, this is actually a model train um, controller. Um, you can probably just get them off eBay for fairly cheap. And same with Neon Sign Transformer, you can find them on eBay. They're not like super cheap though. Um, but anything that's high voltage will work just fine. It doesn't have to be a Neon Sign Transformer. As long as it's high voltage, you should be able to do it. And so that's basically everything you need to build this. It's really simple. And But for the last one, I didn't use on the other videos, I didn't use tape on them like I do on this one. Um, what I did is I just heat the paper clip up and I melted it down into the plastic of the rotor. But it's not a super good idea because then the plastic's thinner and the high voltage will go in to the coils of wire in the motor and it'll destroy the motor. And that's why my last one died. But um, we'll get this one hooked up here really quick and I'll fire it up to show you that it really does work. Alrighty, so here's the setup. We've got transformer over the controller over here hooked up to this. And I almost forgot to mention the uh, wire going around the edge, you're going to want to uh, tape that down so it doesn't move. And we've got the wires from the neon sign transformer, one going to the negative, or I guess technically it's alternating current, but one going to here, the ring, and one going to the paper clip, just barely touching. Right there, just barely touching. And so that's all you need to do, and that's all there is, really is to it, is just that. That's all there is. And it just looks really cool, so now you guys can make one too. And so I will now fire it up for you guys. Alrighty, here we go. So what you didn't see is it's probably not going to work the very first time you plug it in. What I've been doing is you got to adjust this little thing right here so that it's as close to this without touching it as you can get. And then if I turn the thing on here really quick, you can see how the spindle in the middle isn't going very far. You want that to stay as close to the wire as you can get it. But once you get all that tinkering done, then it should turn on and look something like this. Or something to that effect. So there you go. Whew, that kind of stinks. Um, that's how to build your very own arc reactor. And that's how you make it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Um, I'll be posting some more videos, probably not necessarily of this unless you guys want it. Um, if you guys have any more questions about the arc reactor or anything, you can leave a comment in the video or you can send me a message on my YouTube channel. Either way, um, let me know what you thought of the video. And if you like it, leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.